Hi guys, so you saw my video, this one here. It was not inspired, not copy, but based on the setup of this guy. His name is Martin Ören Fosse. He posted it on Facebook group and he was kind enough to post also the flow. And I walk through what I did. If you want to see just exactly my setup of that scene, you can jump to the time. You can see in the comments. Here I will make the very fast way setup, the basic one. And let's see. The first thing that you need is to animate those spheres or any other object. And also have a mesh that will work for the setup. Here is just basically a cylinder that I modify slightly and then we put type flow x type flow birth object next cloth bind later on if you want depend on your scene you can enable CUDA collision next we're gonna add surface test distance because now we're going to bind the spheres to the cloth. Physics switch and object bind. This will deactivate the parts that the sphere are looking at and bind will bind those exact particles to the sphere. Okay, so here in object bind, we need to put those spheres. So I select those here and add selected. To see what's going on, we need to face test, of course, also is already selected, so added. So here in distance, you can see what's happening. This we're going to tweak to your scene. So it's already bind. So if we animate, it's already working. That's the hello world of the scene the way that we can improve it is to put modifying bindings put the timing to continuous go to modify bindings and start playing with inflation So now looks funnier, but you see that it's colliding with the passing through the floor. That's why we add collision. And you're gonna test if you collide with the floor. So now no longer, it's getting flat over the floor. So to this point. That's the very basic, exactly what the guy did. But for my scene, we went further and make it floating and so on. So here, how you do that. You can hold modify binding and drag out. And here you put inflation. You just modify to, you know, two and float force 0.5. And what you want is those two setups go into here after a while. What you do, time test after 60 frames from this event, right? That's counting from zero anyway. You copy it, hold shift and drag to the other scene. So you just copy and you're going to bring it connect here. If the line is hiding, you can right click. Add point just to organize if you want. So from the frame number 60, it will start to inflate even more. Boom. So let's say that after 100 frames, just shift and drag, it will just break. So what you do, you put 
cloth binding drag out here and now you want to change from shape to cloth but cloth to shape once you do that now you have a solid object and you want to fracture and give fisk shape fisk shape will make it interact and hit the ground and so on so you connect it's going too far here you can put slow 50 percent here i will just give more frames that's the very very basic setup of what i did here you learn how to use different events the relation between them it's very easy step by step so it's basically three events one here that make it move the other make float and the other that make it break the continuation of this video is me just going through my exact scene so you can see exactly what i did but the core of my setup is this one the only thing that i animated in my scene was those two spheres and all the rest of animation is the flow these are sphere 1, sphere 2 and the other object that I create was cylinder this guy that's the how I created it was just a plain cylinder and just edit a little bit move and UV map to give the gradient and then I create birth object cylinder let's now hide and show type flow Glove binding just convert to close and surface test I test those cylinders the distance until they start to grab the vertex or my value is 3.1 that's all we need to do here collision with the plane modify bindings is to give the the body some volume so i give a inflation also you can play with the float force and it's important to put to continuous time test so once that connects to the, the sphere we want to deactivate it as a close and also will be bind to those spheres right and only that is enough to make the the object to give a life to it so it will start moving like that but what i wanted is after a while all of it just start floating so i give a time of 220 frames for both scenes uh, the part that is turned to close and also the parts that are connect to the spheres and then i just bring to this event that will modify the bindings to float even more and give more float force so it will just floating let me turn off this as you can see it's dirt floating is exactly this event it's also good to put a slow speed to art direct the event so you not just like move very fast so i reduce to 50 percent also I give a time test after 100 frames once this event enter it will count 100 frames otherwise you can put frames specific one so event age is the default the and then once enter here it will break it will convert first we will convert from cloth to shape Normally when you put this operator is shape to close, but you can convert back, use the same operator. Then we fracture it. Standard fracture. I didn't do anything fancy here. Just 3000 pieces. And those pieces then we convert to shape. So we will interact with the floor and will be object. It's low speed, you know. Uh, this is the new feature of Typhlow. 16097 that temporary move will stop those jitters that can happen this kind of scene that pieces will start moving very fast 
and quietly. So now this is very nice. For today, that's all. Thank you.